just come outside this morning and Vicky's here. So what's happened? I don't know, like a fox or badger or wild boar for all I know. Got one of the bins and has dragged it and ripped it all apart, dragged it all the way down there. It's like a whole trail of rubbish. Um, right, there's something in the bean. So okay. can you just hold my hand? Don't let me go. Who thinks I should just let Vicky oh, fall? There's a frog. Where's a frog? Is that a frog? Oh, yeah, just jumping across there. Oh. Oh. You okay. Right? Yeah, got it. Great. Okay, I think that's it. Okay, I think that's all the rubbish now. A uh, great way to start a morning. It's about half past seven, but at least I can go and get rid of all the bins now down the end of the lane. So when I was cleaning the yurt today, I noticed that um, one of these ropes that holds on the crown is all frayed. So we have come up with the tractor and it is now the time to replace it. So ropes please, thank you. Um, it does mean I'm up in the bucket though, as usual. So well, that's your favorite place? In the bucket of the tractor? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, stop! That is, that is, that is, stop! Uh, oh, I should be able to get it undone quite easy without cutting it. Right, new rope. Around the rabbit hole, what is it? Through the rabbit hole and under, through the rabbit hole and under, something like that. Is that alright? Alright, all done. Just gotta wait for him to uh, get me back down again. You can come in in a minute! Okay, what's the drama? Well, all the gutters were leaking, so I've kind of cleaned them out. As you can see, there's all this gunge on the floor, but the thing is, over here, well, we had loads. So the gutter had basically broken there, and it was cascading over with this type of gunge. And it has basically blocked it all up, and the water was cascading over, so. You only find these things out when it's absolutely tipping it down with rain, which it is now, but unfortunately it's where the guests go in, so I don't want them getting covered in rainwater and gunge, so I just need to quickly clean it out. So it's, yeah, so it's back fixed, and so now what we need to do is we just need to jet it all out with the hose pipe, which I'll go and turn on in a minute, and then just clean the walls. As you can see, the walls are absolutely looking disgusting. So, yeah, back okay. in a minute. So, um... Do you want to move the ladder down there? It's the middle of August, but it just decided to absolutely chuck it down. Um, and it seems like I may end up getting caked in gunge. Get the gunge through. Oh, yeah. Ah. What's the matter? It's no, that ladder doesn't look very sturdy. You're going to fall. Okay, that looks better, now that he's washed the wall down. Um, can you just wash the door a bit here? Yep. Like it's all a bit gross. And, um, yeah. Sure Another glamorous job done. It's about um, quarter to seven this morning, Friday, and we've just had a storm come through 
last night and it was very very high wind and so every morning I go out for a walk just before I start work at 7 and just make sure that the property's all fine nothing's gone untoward and this morning however when I went out after the storm came through and the high wind I was greeted with this as you can see the whole um, tree has basically snapped off at it there and it goes all the way along so if we have a look over on this side you can see it comes all the way across this path um, yeah. I suppose on the good news this is the wood that I use for all my kindling so if I chop it up and that for uh, it'll be ready in the next couple of years so yeah, I think I better go and go and get Vicky and show her and see what she thinks as far as I'm aware she's still in bed yeah. I've just gone and got Vicky and come have a look at this <laughs> you're gonna love this you know we had that storm last night with all the high wind oh my god Tree come, down. Tree, come have a look, it goes all the way across the pathway. Oh, Good job it fell that way and not that way. I know, had it fallen that way, possibly would have destroyed the honesty shop. Yeah. Okay. A bit of early morning adventure right here for you. Yeah. I can get through there. No, you can't get through there. It's a tree in the way. I've come and I've chopped off all of these branches off of the tree and whilst I was doing that Vicky thought it would be a good idea to climb up the tree and be shifting like from here there's a whole crack down here there's a whole crack down here okay. and they're just shifting and if this goes over this is this is the honesty shop's had it actually I can yeah you're right I can see them shifting in the wind I know like this whole crack here that's slightly worrying yeah. I wonder if it's worth trying to go up high the ratchet strap and then it? attach it to the tractor and try and pull it over. What, that way? Well, no, it's going to have to go that way. So can you walk along the branch like you see in the movies? Get out from underneath it in case it collapses. Well, if it collapses with you, jump off. Can you go all the way across? I'm sure it feels a bit wobbly. No, at least if it falls, mommy will jump out the way, hopefully. Grown up one only. Can you go any further? Uh, Why? The right mess down here. Oh, has it? That branch is broken off. Yeah. I know. Good job. Do you want me to help you? Do I put the balance of the cat? Good job. Until he goes splat. <laughs> I'm currently highly stressed. We've got guests arriving in the next 15 to half an hour. Um, the door here has blown open in the night in the wind and has smashed, I don't know if you can see, it's like totally smashed up this whole bit. So I need to come up with a quick fix because all this has totally come away. So um, I need to get my hammer on all these nails and screw it back in and then reinforce it. So, um, but I'm gonna have to do a quick job of it now because we've got people arriving. I've got my tools. So um, I shall crack on now. Okay, so I've taken all the nails out and taken the bar off, but now I just screw this back in and then reinforce it from the front. It's such a difficult job to do on your own. Um, so I just need to crack on and get on with it. Suck it up. Okay, it's all done, all reinforced. Thank goodness. Just in time for guests to arrive. On the bright side, lovely Dave, our tree surgeon friend, has come to our aid in an emergency and is now chopping all his all the tree down. Um, we tried with our chainsaw, but it was just pathetic. So thank goodness, we're so lucky to have Dave on our in our corner. 
So this would be less glamorous side, more stressful side of glamping. Um, obviously, you know what happened to the tree, and you know that our lovely tree surgeon has like ratchet strapped it here so that this one doesn't go over onto the shop because that would be a disaster. And the wind's up to like 47 kilometers an hour today, and so I was having a total freak out. I've literally been watching this tree the whole day, worried that something's gonna go, but it does seem to be holding. And as long as we can get through tonight, then happy days and I will get to sleep tomorrow night. Well, we've just been cleaning up the new shower block because it had a whole load of water in there. It's been absolutely torrential rain today. So I don't know if that has something to do with it, but when Vicky cleaned it earlier, not a drop of water in there. We've now just had the guests call down to us to tell us that it's flooded. We've gone in there, we've cleaned most of it up, and I've just gone to go and get the dehumidifier. But goodness gracious me, was there a lot of water. And we're totally perplexed as to where the water has come from. So, as you can see, there's Vicky just cleaning up. And yeah, it was all in there. But this was pretty it's much literally about an inch underwater, wasn't it? And I just don't understand. No, so it hasn't come in through the roof. It doesn't seem to come through anyway. I, I have no idea where it's come from. And this one, was this one wet? Yeah, it was only just like as if it had come round the corner and in. Okay. It was mainly all in here. So it was all in this one. Could it have come in through the window? No, it was tons of water. Yeah, no, there's lots of water at the back there. No, no, it all just keeps coming from under here. So I wonder if there's a leak it under there. It still keeps coming. Do you think there's a leak under there? Well, I don't know. I don't understand. But yeah, what, what I'm not too impressed by is that floor. Every time you move it, it looks like the whole floor moves. It does, but it's just got water underneath everywhere, hasn't it? And I'm not quite sure how on earth we're going to re-stick that down. Yeah, anyway, I'm going to plug the dehumidifier in and try and dry this place out a little bit. We've had the dehumidifier going overnight and it filled up a whole one of those. This bathroom is now absolutely fine. I've cleaned it, it's dry, it's been dry overnight. So I literally have no idea how we managed to have some sort of freak inch of water in here. I'm, the only thing I think is the ridiculously heavy rainfall we had, but like, equally, it makes no sense to me. So let's hope it's something that doesn't happen again. And I think it's all dry now, so I'm going to turn the dehumidifier off and uh, hopefully that's the end of that. Up next on our glamorous side of glamping is wood chopping. It's like um, Brian's all-time favourite job, right? Very much so. <laughs> well, if you're going to film me, I'm just going to make a cock-up of it, aren't I? <laughs> So um, this is uh, poplar, is it probably? Yeah, it's poplar, it's that tree over there. It's that tree that's causing us all manner of grief. Um, that grows so quick, like you can see from the rings that it just grows really quick. Um, but it makes really good kindling and it's really easy to split, so that's all good. Um, we buy all our hardwood in, but sometimes like a bit like that is way too big to fit in the wood burner. So I'm going to get my saw out and uh, chop a few bits in half so that it's easier to get in the wood burner. So after all that chopping, it's literally been two days and now there is more chopping to be done. Right, that, that'll do I think. I'll just load you up. Can we just chop the last one? Okay. That should be fine. And off to the honesty shop we go. Got enough to do. Oh, for goodness sakes. Oh well. Crack on then. We really hope you enjoyed our not so glamorous side of glamping. Obviously, it is really stressful at times, but it's all worth it when we get such lovely reviews from our amazing guests. If you want to see more, then please like and subscribe to our channel, and we'll give you loads of behind the scenes footage at Traps and Cream plus a load of our new adventure series where we go out and about in Somerset and try and find you some of the best places to visit. Thanks for watching.